Okay, uh, today let's talk about the correct setup and configuration of your water well piping. As you can see, the middle line there goes to the pressure tank. <clears throat> There's the pressure tank, and the middle line comes on out, and it goes up to a T. And one side is coming from the pump down in the well. As you can see, there's the well, and there's a submersible pump down there. And out of the, the pump is pumping the water up through here. And you have a T that goes to the pressure tank. And on the other side of the T, that's the water going to the house. So it's really not all that difficult. I'm not going to go over with you how to cut the pipes and how to glue the pipes, because you can. I'm sure you can figure that out on your own. Um, anybody at Home Depot can tell you the right glue to buy. Just get yourself a hacksaw and some glue. So, this, But I'm just going to show you the configuration the right way. After you've got your submersible pump down in the well, there's only like three major parts there. you got the pressure tank, and you have your pressure cutout switch, and then you've got the piping, your valve, and your piping going to the house. You have a valve there. That's, you have to have a main valve going to the house. And this is optional. You can have a spigot there, optional. So there it is. There's the water coming from the well. And of course, this is the correct spot to put your pressure cutout switch. Very simple. And um, th there's the pipe that goes to the house. And of course, the pressure tank is right in the middle there, a T. So this is just the correct configuration. I just wanted to show you it's not that difficult. If you look it over well and you see the configuration there, it's very, very easy. And um, this well here has a one and a half horsepower submersible pump down there and, and uh, it just pumps the water up through the pipes and then you have a T there. You see the T there? goes off to the pressure tank and the pressure tanks are already preset from the factory so when you buy the pressure tank you don't have to worry about too much that the pressure is already set you'll have to you can check it but it's probably good and of course always put a cutoff valve there going to the house 